of a teetering on that center pedestal right now. You can see that the rails here are just slightly higher than they are here. That's because this end of the turntable is not touching anything. It's, it's suspended in air right now. When the engine enters the turntable, this is going to drop down. This will level out. You'll then back up toward the center point, and when he feels the turntable come back up again, uh, he'll stop the locomotive. He's got it balanced. If it goes over center, it'll sit down on the other end, then he's got to come forward. This is a 42 ton turntable. The balance on this table is so delicate that my weight is enough to cause this to sit down. So that's what he's going to be trying to feel. And uh, it's, it's really a seat of the pants kind of experience. Uh, they make it look easy. Uh, I've tried it and uh, it's not so easy. <laughs> but uh, when he finds that balance point, the table will come back up. The motors are round by hand. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna line it. Did anyone else want to try it? Well, we're uh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. It's really heavy. Yeah, we can we can push it back. Uh, we do try and step over the rails as much as possible while we're around here. They can tend to be slippery, so uh, we we try and step over them. And uh, probably a good time to caution you once we go into the shop. It is a working shop, so please be careful in there, okay? We'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay, all you have to do is hang on to it, and take a step back, and just be patient with it. Just gently lean into it. That's all it is. Now, I've showed everybody the easy part. <laughs> there is a hard part to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you just found out what it is. Yeah. How do you stop this? Thing? Well, you get 42 tons in motion, and uh, I guess all those all those physics equations that didn't work. Uh, it wants to stay in motion, so it it is actually harder to stop than it is to start. Yeah. Plan, plan ahead. Plan ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, See, you, you can look good. Again, if you're going to do this, look like you're working when you're out here. You know, you want to trust me. Grunt and grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now get it to stop. <laughs> The balance is so delicate on this, the wind will blow it around. Yeah. Hard to imagine that. Yes, that's a balance weight. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I didn't see this one. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yes, I'm, thank you. I, okay. I didn't show that. Let's push it back. You want to push it back to where we were? And uh, you can see if you can try and stop this thing. You push it too hard. <laughs> John, in your first life, did you work for a railroad? No, I didn't. Um, I was a mechanical engineer, and uh, for years I told the guys I worked with that someday I'm going to be a real engineer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I play with trains is what I do. Yeah. That's perfect. Nice yeah, job. but you have to shovel coal first. <laughs> I have to shovel coal first, yeah. Yeah, they keep reminding me of that. Yeah. 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 Good job. I work over here both as a presenter in the railroad venues here, and I also volunteer over here and work in the shop. And uh, it gives me a very interesting perspective. Um, I get the I get the dirty shop jobs just as an apprentice would have had back in the day. And uh, as I prove myself, they uh, give me more and more responsibility. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun to both jobs and, uh, like I say, play with friends. <laughs> Yeah. Either. 
water tank is cold in the center and the whole outside is hot. Pushing it this way, on, you we're going to take the nose there. in uh, to the so way it's supposed to work. You have to make it look good. Yeah, yeah, you have to make it look good. Yeah, uh, that's uh, curious. Actually, the vacuum is going to be hard. Thank you. 